HTML Lesson 5, the A tag. The A tag is an HTML element that makes whatever it surrounds into a linkable item or clickable area. This element is usually called a link or hyperlink tag. An A tag can surround text, an image, or other HTML elements. Let's look first at the most common case, when an A tag surrounds text. For this tutorial, you'll need our web page template. You can download it from our HTML Lesson 1 page on zoax.net. After you download it and unzip it, right-click on the index.html file and choose Edit to open it in a text editor. In between the body tags, put this code. Now save the file, then go to the folder where you saved it and double-click it. It'll open in a web browser, and you'll see that when link code is on a web page, the text is highlighted in a different color, and it's also underlined. The other common use for an A tag is when it surrounds an image. Put this code into your index.html file, save it, and then in your web browser hit F5 to refresh the page. You should see something like this. You'll notice that the image has a border around it, kind of like the underline on the text in the previous example. You can remove this border either with an attribute or with cascading style sheets. Since we haven't gotten to CSS yet, I'll show you how to remove the border with a simple attribute tag. Put this attribute, border equals zero, into your image tag like this. And then save and refresh your web page in the browser again. You should see that the border disappears. Now let's take a look at the A tag and its attributes. The href attribute is used to tell the browser where to take the user when they click on the link. Let's say we're linking to another page. In this case, using a relative URL is simple if the page you're linking to is in the same folder as the page your link is in. In this case, you can just put the name of the file into the href value, like this. Here's another form of a relative URL. When you use a relative URL, it means that we assume the HTTP and the domain name of the website. Here I just put the full path to the file and use the forward slash as the first character to tell the web browser to start at the domain's root web folder, which is where your website's main page lives. A different way is to use an absolute URL, like this. An absolute URL has the HTTP and the domain name and then the full path to the file. For more information on advanced URL combinations, see the support page for this lesson. There's also a way that you can use the A tag to take a user to a certain place inside a web page. To make this happen, you have to do two things. First, set an element on your page as the target of the link, where the user will get taken to, by adding an ID attribute and value to that element. Second, in your A tag's href value, add a hash mark and then the ID value of the element you chose as target. Let's go to our index.html file now. Let's put several paragraph elements with some text in them into the body area. Now let's add an A tag around some of the body text of the last paragraph. Then let's set the header element at the top of the page as the target of this link. We'll add an ID attribute and give it a unique name of, say, blue. Then back in the A tag, we'll add a hash mark and then the ID value blue to the href value. If we save the index.html file now and refresh the web page, you'll see the text link we made. And if we click it, the page will reload and jump to the header. Next we'll look at the title attribute, which though it's not required, it's good practice. When you hover over a link on a web page, the title value appears as the tooltip on top of the element that is linked. And finally, the target attribute is not required but it's useful if you want to change the behavior of the browser when the user clicks on the link. When you don't specify the target attribute, the link will open in the same tab as the web page you're on currently. But if you specify the target attribute and put underscore blank as its value, clicking on the link opens a new tab or window and loads the hyperlinked page there. And now you know how to put an A tag into your web page.